Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with a bit of a different opening than usual, but I am going to be unboxing and showing off this brand new Magic Gathering product from Ultra Pro, the Ashiok Accessories Bundle. Now Ashiok is one of my favorite planeswalkers, does have a very awesome character design, and I'm hopeful we'll see Ashiok in some upcoming sets, not sure how they tie in their storyline, but I'm very curious to see Ashiok once more. Last time we saw Ashiok was of course War the Spark and Theros Beyond Death. So I'm very curious to see where it goes. But the Ashiok Accessories Bundle does come with several different things. Here it is right here. And we do actually have these available in store, not on our website, but if you're local to Pinellas County, we are a card shop located in Pinellas Park, Titan Cards and Games website and exact address in the description down below. But the bundle does come with a lot of things here in this box. This box, it's not focusing anyways. This box doubles as a deck box here. Or you can put your mat in here. One premium stitched edge play mat, of course, featuring Ashiok Pro 100 Plus deck box with 100 count chroma fusion deck protector sleeves. So those are like card sleeves there with Ashiok printed on. And of course, a divider inside the deck box, a life pad, and of course, this card storage box. You can also store your play mat or you can have a bunch of decks separated out in here. But I'm going to go ahead, like I said, unbox it here. We do have Ashiok on the art as well. And of course, Magic Gathering logo. It is an actual magic product. Of course, Ultra Pro makes authentic Magic Gathering products. Let's go ahead and check it on out. Bye. Snapping us into the corner. And all right, so it actually does fit nearly perfectly on screen. I do have the fa the card cam always zoomed in slightly. I'll show you guys what it looks like outwards. Just the play mat. Uh, instead of having to balance it every time, I just kind of get around the edges, just zoom in tiny, tiny bit. So it actually does fit the width of a play mat here with about an inch and a half on each side is the size of this box. So we're gonna go ahead and crack this on open. See Ashiok over here. Once I get the shrink wrap off, should be easier to take a look at. But the color scheme here appears to be white, purple, and black. So here is what I was reading off to you guys earlier. There is the life pad. You can use that to write, to keep track of notes, keep track of any information you want, or of course to actually do what it's called, you know, to keep track of your life. Stitch Dead play mat. I know that's kind of a newer thing that's like for premium, more premium play mats. Uh, I personally don't care too much for these stitched edges. I mean, I appreciate the extra effort, but to me, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't feel the need to go out of my way and find something that has stitched edges. Uh, I don't, however, really use play mats for playing on or have taken any to events. I've never actually attended like a Magic Fest or a YCS, anything like that. Uh, I've always wanted to, but I've never been. So I don't know if perhaps it helps edges from fraying. I mean, I would think so, but I have no opinion on the stitched edges. I, I like regular ones. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me at all. But here, deck box, like I said, purple, white, and black color scheme. Ooh, I've never opened up one of these before. Now I know they've made a Teferi one and I also believe a Chandra, but I saw these pop up for order and I was like, yo, Bossman, we gotta buy these. It's Ashiok, you can't say no. Uh, so I bamboozled Bossman and by bamboozle, I mean I added them to our cart with Southern Hobby and I was like, we're buying some of these, these are cool. So here is our Stitched Edge Playmat. This is what I'm most excited for because this I've had on screen for a little over a week now. It is the Easter themed Dragon Shield. Easter sell last weekend, you guys. We just got to replace it with this. Wow, this is actually really gorgeous. Ashiok. Wow. Once I saw that it was solid color, I was like, I don't know how much I'm going to like it. Also, I like that the edges are black too. Now, the weird thing about the Dragon Shield one is that it was still printed towards the edges. So I was like, yeah, stitched edges, yeah. You know, it looks a little weird. But actually having a border on the image, as you guys can see, the little black border. I actually really like that, I like that. All right, so I'm liking stitched edges on Ultra Pro a bit more than the Dragon Shield stitched edge play mats, but I like it. Like the purple Ashiok looks Awesome, of course, Ashiok has half a face. That looks so cool, I love it. I love the design here for Ashiok. All right, here's our little life pad, of course, with the same image. We've never actually carried these before. Wiz uh, not wizard per se, but Ultra Pro makes a ton of different life pads. And we typically just get the play mats. We don't have people that particularly want like sleeves with printed uh, imagery like we'll find out in here with the Ashiok sleeves typically don't get those or the fancy deck boxes tend to stick to tried and true like dragon shield sleeves and other things uh, for deck boxes so it's curious to check this stuff out oh I like it oh okay so it's less noty 
notepad-like than it looked from here. To be fair, though, it just shows the two-tone colors, the gray and the, well, the white and the light blue or gray. Not 100% certain what you'd consider that. It's like a blue-gray. Just showed that, so it's like, oh, it just looks like a regular notepad. Because I know you can, you can take notes. Probably don't want to telegraph to your opponent like what you're keeping track of by actually writing it out. Maybe just keep it in your head. But I know you can write notes. Uh, but this actually just straight up light pad. Well, that's cool. I like that you can put different games too in the plays. Oh, and there's space for notes. All right, so I was half right anyways. I like it. I like it. That's actually pretty cool. I know most people just use spin downs, but I like it. I like it. All right, so let's take that out. So here's the bottom of the box. This is just a jumbo card storage. Like I said, or you can just have a bunch of different decks. Would probably be pretty cool if you played like a bunch of different commander decks. Be like, all right, let's go to commander night. I've got three decks in here. I'm ready to go. That'd be pretty fun. And yeah, I like this box. I'm kidnapping this box for me. Of course, I'm really kidnapping all of it for me. That's why I'm opening one up here, which actually I wasn't expecting it. I was going to say, oh, I wanted to open up so I could steal stuff, but it doesn't work like that. Bossman actually was the one that recommended I open one on video for you guys. Never done something like this before. Usually I just show off play mats when we get them. And don't make special videos, but this is like, this is a thing. I've never carried something like this before. Like I said, I wanted it because it was Ashiok, and I convinced Bossman to let me get some more for the shop. If it, and just in case anybody else wants one. We do have, like I said at the beginning, in store only, not online. Shipping would be kind of expensive, I would think, on this, depending on where you live. But yeah, we just have them in store. All right, so this is a little frustrating here. This plastic doesn't really want to open. I was trying to cut, like, right here, make sure I didn't, like, shank anything on the inside. Trying to be gentle, but looks like Ashiok just wants me to be rough with them. Ashiok's going to visit me. I'm going to have a nightmare tonight and be like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ashiok. But here's the deck box, Ultra Pro. Now I have had some Ultra Pro deck boxes in my time. Uh, they don't they don't hold up very well, but you know what? They look super cool. The printed ones look super cool. Go ahead and open it on up. Ooh, there's our divider. Of course, same imagery. And the sleeves are slightly different. Instead of the white mist and purple background, they switched up the colors on us, and that looks really cool. I like that they're slightly different, but they still match. I like that. And it does come with, I'm assuming, two packs of 50. Uh, so you have 100 cards to play Commander or, you know, have a reasonable size sideboard. And if any sleeves break, if you're playing like Modern Standard, something like that, do have replacements. Oh, definitely get you set up here. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let me know in the comments. Ah. <sighs> Let me, get, let me know in the comments if this video gets to 100 likes, because I feel like this is kind of odd. This is an odd video. I don't know how many people are going to watch it. Let me know in the comments what kind of Ashiok Commander deck you want me to build. Uh, I would like to send it around my Japanese alternate art milling Ashiok. I have it in foil. <laughs> That's why. Now, I want. I, I didn't, can that even be my commander? I don't even know. I don't know. Well, first off, we got to get 200 likes afterwards or in preparation go ahead and let me know you guys in the comments uh what kind of deck can i run featuring ashiok in commander that'd be fun look at that switching it up switching up the content a little bit here on the channel that does it for this opening and micro review here of this new ashiok accessories bundle from ultra pro and pleasantly surprised with the way the life pad is i like the different i like the orientation of the sheets in here cute little booklet I could see myself using something like this. Like I said, a majority of the people here at Titan, when they play, uh, do just prefer to use spin downs, but I like to keep track of stuff. So this does seem like something I would use. Like the deck box, have previous experience with Ultra Pro stuff. They tend to not hold up super long, especially if you're pretty rough with them, but I like the design. Curious about the sleeves. I personally like the Eclipse sleeves from Ultra Pro. Uh, they, I like the way they feel and I like the way they look in binders. I would not recommend playing with them because even if my bind even in my binders, I notice sometimes the cards like to slide to the top of the sleeve. So I think that was a pretty, you know, common complaint when the Eclipse stuff started coming out, the Eclipse Pro Mat and whatnot from Ultra Pro. They look nice. They feel nice. But the cards don't stay in them very well. So I'm curious to see. Uh, try out these Chroma Fusion sleeves. Of course, the divider's cool. I use them for sorting stuff in here. And I actually am liking this playmat with the stitched edges. Woo, fancy premium. Woo. Woo. I like it more than I expected it with the stitched edges. I was just expecting it to be like, eh. Switching up. 
the texture of my playmat. It feels different in the middle than it feels on the edges, of course, because of the stitching. But I actually like it. I like the way it frames the purple here. And, of course, this awesome Ashiok imagery. But that does it for this first video tonight. Do have some more regularly scheduled programming coming to the Titan Cards channel later tonight. Do have a, actually, magic personal break up next for James N. Do have a full draft booster and a pre-release kit of Call Time. And afterwards, our third and last video of the night, we'll be having a No Game, No Life personal break from Y Schwartz. So that'll be exciting. Uh, the only time I've ever opened up No Game, No Life here on the channel so maybe we'll find an sb those are i think going up in price recently so hopefully we'll find some really cool shiro cards in that no game no life box coming up later tonight i will also be filming just in case anybody cares i don't mention it much you guys might be noticing ali what are these purple binders in the background but speaking of whites i'm actually filming for my personal channel link in the description uh doing a little collection tour of my weiss schwartz these are dex binders not ultra pro my Y Schwartz collection, so. These are Eclipse sleeves. I don't know why I put shiny cards in matte sleeves, because they really don't show very well in the binder. <laughs> but I like them. I like the way they feel. So I'm curious to try out these Ultra Pro sleeves. I think it said Chroma Fusion. Yeah, Chroma Fusion deck protectors. Segwaying back to what we were talking about. But that does it for me here in this video. Like I said, if we get to 100 likes, we'll make an Ashiok Commander deck. I mean, it'd be fun. I don't know why I made myself uh, hedge a bunch of money on getting you guys up to 100 likes on this video, but you know what? We'll try it. We'll see how it goes. Like I said, if you want to see that, make sure you hit that like button. Comments for me, deck suggestions for an Ashiok Commander deck, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us. Make sure you go on ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, before I get on out of here, I do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you guys, for going above and beyond with your support of the channel. Really do appreciate it. I do have six Black Label fans, Andon, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Epicenter Gaming, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. Also do have nine Gem Mint fans, Alberto M., Anthony Basileo, Chris Rivers, D. Von, Dusty Archuleta, Geriatric Geek, Jake Ryan OC, Joe Howe, and Michael C. But thank you so much to all of our channel members, and all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. But that does it for me here in our first ever fully dedicated video to unboxing supplies. But I had a good time. I really like this playmat, and I'm excited to have a new background here on the channel for at least several days. Not sure how, how long I'll keep the Ashiok up here. But I like it. I like it a lot. I like it. like the solid color and the stitching more so than I thought I would. Let me know your thoughts on this Ashiok bundle in the comments down below. Did you pick one up? Have you never seen it before? Do you think it's ugly? Go ahead and let me know that down below as well. But that is it for me here tonight in this video. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!